வெல்கம் டு லாஜிக் பேஸ்டு ப்ரோக்ராமிங் ஓகே லாஜிக் பேஸ்டு ப்ரோக்ராமிங் இன் ஷார்ட் ஃபார்ம் வி ஆர் காலிங் இட் ஆஸ் எல்பிபி ஆன்லைன் பேட்ச் இட் இஸ் நாட் ஆஃப்லைன் இட் இஸ் ஆன்லைன் ஓகே ஸோ வெல்கம் டு துர்கா சாஃப்ட் ஆன்லைன் ட்ரைனிங் அண்ட் வெல்கம் டு லாஜிக் பேஸ்டு ப்ரோக்ராமிங் ஆன்லைன் பேட்ச் சார் வாட் இஸ் திஸ் பேட்ச் இஸ் கோயிங் டு டூ of course we will discuss all the things so myself prakash babu having 14 years of experience 14 years of experience as a technical trainer so dealing with so many subjects in the placement and uh, training domains okay so here in our durga soft we launched a special course especially to clear the coding doubts okay so what is that course is nothing but the title of the course is logic based programming what is the title of the course logic based programming sir initially we have conducted this batch almost 6 months because very first day first batch we have taken almost 6 months but this batch i mean later on so the total duration of this batch is nothing but 2 months okay within 60 hours we are going to complete this syllabus maybe plus or minus 5 or 6 classes will be there so i can say exactly so 60 hours okay 60 hours will be there sir what is the timing of this particular class sir every day from 8 pm 8 pm to 9 pm class will be there every day one hour the class will be there sometimes maybe 5 to 10 minutes extra will be there okay then sir what is the uh, fees structure for this batch i think you know very well you have seen in the uh, demo link itself so it is nothing but rupees 2000 sir if i want to join to whom we need to contact sir you can contact to okay these numbers i am going to provide the numbers just to have a look once sir 9246 so 212143 you can contact to this number so they are going to provide guidance for you of course our admin people will send a message to you and they will make a call okay sir how many demos we are going to take no problem we will take four to five demos four to five demos will be there later you can able to register for this course then only we are going to give the permanent link for you people okay then so next one <coughs> next one sir yeah timing there is no change sir max at 9 o'clock we will wind up okay you can you can um, watch that video of course we are going to give that content right you can later watch that video so please wait while class is going on later you can ask all your queries please wait sir okay then sir what about uh, the benefits the benefits of this course okay what about the benefits sir the first benefit is nothing but uh, sir it is it is not like theory classes it is not like theory classes it is the practical classes these are the practical classes so daily we are practicing okay we are practicing the programs daily we will practice the programs sir sir it will be habituated okay so you can't able to sleep at least per day so without doing any one program such a type of confident such a type of logical thinking your logical thinking is going to be improved like anything so not only this programming sir in general if you are getting any problem how you can able to solve that problem such a type of knowledge you can able to gain from this so but my sincere request for you people is don't do parallel works so you, if you are attending these classes daily one hour is more than sufficient okay and half an hour practice is sufficient so daily one and a half hour excluding on saturdays and sundays so every day one and a half hour if you practice for these two months september and october okay definitely you can able to achieve more heights sir like whether if you are a working employee you can able to enhance your knowledge suppose if you are a student you can got uh, you can get selected in so more mnc companies okay so because 
we are going to cover the programs sir that is the next one sir daily you are telling practical classes daily we are going to do coding sir how many programs you are going to cover so i think you have seen already in the title we have given 300 plus but make sure i am going to cover 320 programs for youtube okay i will cover 320 programs for youtube these programs include numbers related programs okay next and after that the strings related programs so next and after that arrays related programs then some programs which includes and sorting and sorting okay searching and sorting algorithms and some of the math algorithms also we are going to cover math algorithms also we are going to cover and few programs we are going to cover on matrices etc i think you know if you are already attended one or two interviews so whether it may be a small company or big company definitely you can see the problem statement without these topics there won't be any problems suppose they may give array i have one array is there with the five elements another array is there with the five elements can you combine these two arrays and perform sorting operation so this is your requirement try to solve this problem within 15 minutes so these are nothing but the test cases what i have so this is a sample input one so for this this is the sample output one so this is a sample input two this is the sample output two this is the sample input three this is the sample output three so these are the three examples that i have given problem statement is also given for you try to implement a program in the programming language sir which programming language so we are going to see the implementations of uh, these programs the implementations of uh, these programs in c language c language java and uh, sir python in all these languages we are going to see the implementation sir maximum you can get uh, four concepts in c sir okay but uh, sir in java and python okay java and python we have ready made methods are there you can use that methods to perform some uh, simple operations like for example if you have a b c is there sir i want to convert from lower case to upper case for a the ascii character is 97 okay for b the ascii character is 98 for c the ascii character is 99 if you subtract with the 32 you are going to get a 65 which is the ascii value of capital a if you subtract with 32 then we are going to get uh, something like 66 which is the ascii value of uh, capital b if you subtract with 32 we are going to get a 67 which is the ascii value of capital b this is in c language but in java abc dot we have one special function is there called to uppercase in python abc dot upper function is there see like in c language we are going to implement with the help of four concept that means if we don't have any predefined support how you can able to solve the problem because that will give the idea behind how this uh, user defined sorry predefined methods came into the picture okay and for easiness we are going to cover these type of codings also okay so what i am trying to say is sir the implementations of these programmings will be there in all these languages like c java and python okay for every program i am going to give that coding sir for example if you want you can see my previous batch running notes okay sir you can able to see here so what is this program we have to delete an element from an array so implement a program to delete the given element from an array so input is nothing but the size array elements under the element and the constraint is the array size should be always less than 100 output is nothing but we have to return an array after deleting suppose example also i am going to take sir i want to delete the element called 44 after deletion i am expecting this one as the output suppose if input is 5 and i have given certain elements i want to delete 66 suppose if 66 is not there we have to return minus 1 so sir this is a just running notes purposes sir. but later you can see how it is going to work we have separate hacker rank tool is there 
there we have to read the problem statement and examples and the first i will explain the logic behind the program logic in the sense sir i have this problem how we can able to solve this problem in a generalized manner i will explain by taking the some diagram and by drawing something so i have an array i need these elements are there i want to delete this element if it is available then we have to delete if it is not available we have to print minus one that i will explain with the help of diagrams okay because visualization explanation is always give uh, high priorities right that's why then later we will provide code in c language later we are going to provide the implementation in java later we are going to provide implementation in python not only for this for every program every program i am going to type with my own hands so insert an element at first position of an array okay like this we have n number of programs are there sir you can able to see is the string is in sorting order suppose if you give any string if the content of this string is arranged already in ascending order means we have to return true a b c according to alphabetical order we have right that's why it is going to return true and uh, if you have b a c sir is the data is arranged in ascending order no we are expecting false so how to solve that problem and how we are going to implement in c language how to implement in java how to implement in python okay if any student is asking doubts we will clarify that doubts here itself sir <clears throat> okay so this is nothing but how we are going to provide implementation in all these programming languages right excellent sir next uh, sir what about this pd nodes this uh, running nodes okay sorry so this running nodes and uh, so we are going to provide some hacker rank link so these are running nodes and the hacker rank link are okay lifetime validity okay but whatever videos whatever the video which is a recording we will upload these videos sir videos will have seven months access sir seven months access you can't able to download this video just you can able to watch this videos okay so this is nothing but what benefits you are going to get and uh, sir for what kind of requirement is uh, there to learn this particular coding okay prerequisite okay prerequisite for this course sir what is the prerequisite for this course nothing sir just uh, dedication dedication okay so towards coding so next and after that sir your time time so maximum 1 hour 30 minutes time is sufficient okay if you are unable to spend at a time no problem you can spend on weekends also so this is nothing but a prerequisite and uh, sir minimum knowledge okay minimum idea about uh, okay any one programming language any one programming language so maybe it is a c or java or python anything and uh, one more hidden secret is there for this course sir if you know any one programming language if you join this course at least 30% of other programming languages you are going to learn like for example sir i know c language but i want to learn java and i, I mean i want to join this course if you join sir you can able to get an idea on java and python also suppose if you know python sir you can able to get what is the story behind the c and java so parallel you are going to learn that kind of facility i can able to provide but not all the concepts sir only the concepts which i have listed out so especially i am talking with respect to programming okay so this is nothing but sir what is our course what benefits we are going to cover and what is prerequisite for this course so everything i provided sir what about the syllabus how many programs we are going to cover sir as i told earlier we are going to cover how many programs sir 310 programs minimum we are going to cover okay so this is nothing but the list what we have this is nothing but the list whatever we have sir total for every program i have given the titles alone so later we will see how it is going to work okay so these are nothing but so what are the programs that we are going to cover in this every program is coded sir 
okay you can able to enjoy this classes like anything so my sincere request for everyone so if you are a final year or pre final year student if you are studying sir don't waste time better to purchase this course immediately okay don't wait waste at least one minute of time also because uh, sir the course fees is 2000 matter of around four movies right okay if you go to movie minimum 500 expenditure will be there right so if you forgot to watch five four or five movies that's all so that money you can able to keep for this course okay definitely it will be useful sir so i am telling uh, you can write it on paper and uh, we can write it on paper definitely this course is going to be useful for final year or pre final year students very effectively and for remaining sir i have a zeal to learn programming i need to move from so and so industry to it industry yes no problem this coding knowledge is minimum requirement right so happily you can able to do sir i am in project i am taking support from other persons so i i don't have that much background on this no problem definitely this course is going to be helpful for you people so with this course once if you are entering into this course while leaving definitely your brain is going to be filled with some content that assurance i can able to provide for you people right so this is nothing but about myself and about durga soft about the course what benefits you are going to cover and what content is there okay the complete intro for this course i have given sir now it's time for you to ask queries you can ask all the queries whatever you have in your mind don't worry i will clarify all your doubts then we will move one step forward yes you can start asking your queries uh, sir i don't have any knowledge on coding can i learn from scratch no issue the programming we are going to start from scratch we are going to start from scratch okay um i know only uh, loops no problem without loops no program we are going to do but parallelly you can able to understand the remaining concepts see at very first time when you are introducing the concept i will give the overview sir for example if i am taking while loop i will give the syntax of while loop in all the languages how it is going to work later only i will enter into while loop related programs okay that introduction i will provide every day how many programs we are going to cover yeah that will be depends sir depends on the content of the program suppose if it is a small program so three or four programs we can do suppose if it is a big program sometimes only one program per day so we have some three to four programs are there like that vishal is asking do we will get assignments this is a program programmatically based course right in this no need to uh, go for any theory concepts a bunch of assignments will be given for you people so you have to practice in advance in advance in advance even if i am explaining the program definitely you have to practice until you are going to practice you won't get anything okay vishal um searching and sorting algorithms actually we are going to cover linear search binary search and only one sorting algorithm that is a selection sort that's all but for this batch i am going to add all the sorting techniques whatever we have minimum 10 sorting techniques i will cover for this batch as a separate topic so all the programs you can run in editor are not in the class no i am going to use one tool called hacker rank in that tool we are going to execute the programs i will show that collection related problems no collection related pro collection is the data structure right in this course we are not going to cover any data structure but somewhere we required some data structures sir there i will give some kind of introduction maybe you can expect 10 or 15 programs related to the data structures so i am talking with respect to python and uh, java yes we are going to cover linked list okay array list like that but not in detail because that will be covered in the programming right not here clear yeah any any queries please feel free to ask
That's all about queries. Ayo. Hello, sir. Yeah, hello, sir. Please. So, uh, the code content uh, shows uh, the, the list of programs. So, and you yourself will be doing the coding uh, and showing us. So, what should, what is the expectation from us then? Uh, I mean, uh, see, when I am doing the program, uh, you need to take that program, how the logic is implemented, how difficult that problem is, all these things you are going to get. Later, you can open the same link and you can practice from yourself itself. Okay. So the coding I'm going to explain. Parallelly, you have to practice from your side also. Okay. And whatever code you are practicing, your name, all these things you can able to see on the dashboard of hacker rank. Can we only practice in only one language, which we... No, you can practice on all these three languages, like C, Java, Python. I have enabled C, C++, Java, Python for the students. But I will explain only in C, Java, and Python. No, no so can we prefer only one language and continue... Yeah, so, that is your wish. That is your wish. For example, I am going to explain the concept in all the languages. Okay. So, but you have to practice depending on your requirement. Suppose if you are in Java uh, technology, just try to uh, listen only Java related uh, terminologies and try to know. But my recommendation, so it is highly required to learn how it is going to work internally means better to listen that C language concept also. Nothing will be there, matter of one hour, right? Yeah, sure. Yeah, you will get more stuff, that's all. No, D, DSL, no, no. As of now, it is only uh, the logic-based programming. Only we are going to concentrate on programming domain. Not on data structures or algorithms or any other things. right so i hope all your queries got resolved right shall i continue right sir some people may have a doubt sir where we have to practice the programs all these things just a matter of one or two minutes i will give some demo on that uh, how it is going to work so https double slash www dot sir hacker rank dot com we have this website i think you know about this website so with the help of these logics we can crack uh, the companies like wipro pps accenture etc program yes damn sure and sorry to say some of the previous company papers are there in these examples also you can able to see some programs are there which was asked in some previous interview questions, especially in the year 2020, 21-22. Uh, in these three years, I collected so much of stuff and I am adding. Still, the programming count is going to be increased. You can expect all these programs. See, you, you can able to understand, sir. For example, uh, if the problem is related to prime numbers, if you know how to write a logic for finding whether the given number is prime number or not, n number of programs will be there on prime number. If you want, you can see. Just uh, uh, search for the word called prime. Sir, sum of uh, prime digits. You can see first program. So, prime number or not, second program. So, prime number, okay, or not, uh, prime number application. Okay, like this, uh, next prime. Okay, sum of uh, prime numbers in an array. All numbers in the array are prime or not. Print prime numbers, absolute difference between prime numbers. Okay, so like this count of prime digits in the given matrix, prime number pluses. Like this, we have n number of programs will be there. But for all these things, prime number is the main logic. Okay, that you need to capture how it is going to be work. Sir, this course is fully worthful, sir. So don't keep anything on mind, just you can register. Not for publicity sake, I am taking, I am telling. Okay, it will be very, very useful. So, for every batch, the minimum strength is 35 to 40 members are there. Okay? Yeah. And 
www.hackerrank.com/lbptest this is a it is a foundation for every developer and it's mandatory yes perfect correct yeah so what we have to do with this link so open okay open open any any website sir any any chrome or mozilla firefox or ie anything you can open just paste this link and press enter of course it is the demo link sir in this you won't get all the programs only few programs will be there in this sir if any class got missed how to cover that so our admin team are going to upload the videos on the same day max okay so while coming to the next class you have to watch that recording and one more thing there won't be any dependency sir okay if any dependencies is there i will inform in advance okay so you need to uh, i will mention which classes are very very important for example if i am taking a concept of arrays so array related programs we have 100 programs are there but if you know how to handle the arrays in c language in java and python so luckily sir we have arrays concept is there in java and python but we don't have arrays concept in uh, sorry java and c we don't have arrays concept in python but how we can able to implement uh, that arrays concept in python is a challenge for us so that will be covered in the introduction of arrays class that you should not miss okay so anyway if you miss you can able to recall only if you are not getting we will create a medium where we can communicate with each other uh, we can clarify all your doubts clear so let it be right yes sir right so like this you are going to get a dashboard sir here you need to click on login okay you need to click on enter contest suppose if you are attending the first time it may ask for uh, um, what you can call login credentials you can con uh, you can connect with uh, your gmail id okay continue with the google account then it will be redirected to your mail id and then it will be logged in along with your mail id that's all sir here you are going to see the challenges every challenge you can able to see here so just for demo purpose i uploaded only 10 programs here but how many programs we are going to see 320 programs but don't expect all the 320 programs at a time so topic by topic i am going to add maybe for the first time i will add 10 programs then some digit related programs are there so some 20 programs i am going to add like that i am keep on adding the programs okay and one more thing for you people so i am going to add few more programs for practicing also that you can able to do by yourself okay and so these are the programs what we have sir and uh, sir how you can able to solve this problem sir already i have solved this that's why we are getting try again okay you can able to solve by yourself you are going to get a one button called with green color saying solve challenge and after solving the challenge you can able to see your uh, leaderboard position also so that where you are you can able to compare sir see here so some students some students are there with uh, these points of course it is the demo link sir that's why you can't able to see all the numbers it, it was given for n number of students so it is a demo purpose sir okay yeah so this is nothing but what we have and how to solve the problem sir go to problem number three just i want to solve this problem number three click on try again sir here you can able to see implement a program to check whether the given year is leap year or not so input format read year value as an integer from the user that year value must be greater than zero i have given one hint also what is leap year it is exactly divisible by four except for century year except for century year it is exactly divisible by four so if the if it is a century year then it must be divisible by 400 if it is a century year then it must be divisible by 400 if it is not century year it must be divisible by 4 so internally i will explain by taking some examples don't worry friends then the output is always true or false so they have given some sample input for this this is the output 
so one more sample input for this this is the output one more sample input for this this is the output like this this are sir just you can select your programming language from here you can choose either c program or you can choose c++ or you can go with java or you can go with python any programming language sir i want to solve this program by using python so we have one easiness is there in python so for this uh, there is one predefined function is there called ease leap ease leap what is the function name ease leap so just a second yes ease leap so just you have to pass the year so it will decide so whether the given year is leap year or not okay but where it is available it is available in one module called calendar so calendar dot ease leap year you have to write sir i will write uh, code for this import calendar import the calendar so then so we have to read year value from the user don't ask all these things we will discuss later so just uh, calendar dot uh, ease leap function is there just you have to pass that year automatically it will calculate whether the year is leap year or not but if you take java and c language we don't have any predefined support for this we have to write manually okay now run the code you have to click on this run code so it is going to show sir already on your screen we have three test cases are there whether your problem is solved with these three test cases or not it will show so you can able to see input is 2100 your output is false expected output is also false now you have to submit your code so don't show this me again and then click on yes submit my code now it will be submitted to the background and in the background i have given n number of test cases you can able to see sir you must satisfy all the test cases you must satisfy all the test cases then you are going to get one point score and your status is accepted sir do you know for company people minimum if you pass at least five test cases out of eight you are selected for coding round you are selected from coding round you are eligible for the next round suppose if you have passed only one test case you are not selected sir if you are passed out of all the eight cases if you cleared all eight test cases then you are a good programmer they will keep your resume separately and definitely in their mind they are going to select you but just for formality purpose they may ask some questions okay so i think you people have attended different interviews you have faced these kind of test cases problem also sir my program is correct but test cases are not working sir why because the learning whatever you have done in your college days is different from the industry standards okay so this platform after this covid this platform is created to test your knowledge okay suppose you people are going to ask like this enter any year so you have seen these kind of things in your academics print f enter any number then you will read so that is okay for learning sake but while coding so according to their format you have to write so in the sample input are you seeing any messages here no we have only number is there that's why you have to read only number you should not print any message if you print any message what will happen sir have you seen your output is enter any year answer is true but expected output is false so you have to differentiate these things according to their requirement according to their requirement you have to write the code sir okay that is completely depends on our logical thinking but sir how to develop this logical thinking once if you practice you will get it nothing more than this okay sir i think you got clarity how you can able to work with this hacker rank tool please confirm do you have any doubts on the practicing medium that we have created yes please any doubts up to this
Ajo, what happened? No response from your side. Clear? Any doubts up to this? Sir, so we can, can we keep trying until we get all the test cases clear or is yes. it? Yes, compulsory you have to practice, keep on, you have to come, uh, you have to do until all the test cases are cleared. Then only you are going to get the final marks like uh, your status is accepted and marks are nothing but one point. For every program, I have given one point. You can see in some later board positions, 31.67 marks they got score. That means only few test cases are passed, but not all. Okay, so that you need to practice by yourself. Of course, I will give the correct problem. Sir, how you can able to see the remaining test cases means it will be hidden. Based on the problem requirement, you have to solve the problem. Then only you can get the clarity whether so the test cases will include all these uh, shapes, sir. That is in the input. So what is the problem statement here? Leap year or not leap year, right? In this, we are going to give the normal years. We are going to give the century years. Everything will be there. So for century years, what output they are expecting? For non-century years, what they are expecting? Everything will be there in the test cases. You need to write a program in such a way that it should pass all the test cases. That is completely in your hand. And all the test cases are perfectly already verified test cases. That's why don't keep any doubt on the test cases. So all the test cases are correct test cases. If any test case is failed, the problem is with our code, but not with test case. Okay. Clear, Ashish? Uh, yes, sir. Right. Sir, please confirm everyone. Clear up to this. First, we have to solve the problem. No, no, no. We will start uh, from the basic first program onwards. Sir, every program solution I will give. Okay. So, when you are coming to the next class, if possible, you can try to solve some problems. Okay. Suppose if I am doing the program uh, to count the number of vowels present in the given string, you can write for convolutions. Okay. So, such a type of things you have to do. But anyway, I am going to uh, give the clarity for every program, for every solution. I will type with my own hands. I want to do any copy paste mechanism. And there is no PDFs. Everything manually I will type and I will explain. So that the person who don't know anything about the programming and the person who is expert, both will satisfy these classes. Every day I want to leave class at 8.45 p.m. I have another class. No problem. 45 minutes you can enjoy. <laughs> 8 to 8.45 you can enjoy. Maybe last 10 minutes we may cover logic or one program or half program like that. That you can recollect from the uh, recording. Okay, nothing will be there. Right. Any other queries, friends? Yeah. So before winding up the session, I have a small query for you people. Sir, can you please uh, tell me, sir, what are the <coughs> output statements if I want to print any message on the screen? So how you can able to write the code in C language? Can you please post it on chart window if you know? Sir, I want to print a message on the screen. Okay, how you can able to print by using C language? Yes, please. Very good, very good, very good. So, so many people are giving response. So, it is nothing but we have to use. Uh, so, printf. Excellent. Printf. So, here within double quotations, we have to print a message. That message will be printed on the screen. This is nothing but C language. Sir, can you please type it on Java? Yes. You can use a short form also, no problem. How to print a message on Java? Yes, very good, very good, excellent. Sys dot out, SOP, very good. System dot out dot 
so print ln of you can print hello message excellent right got got then sir how to print a message on python yes how to print message on python very good so we have print function is there okay print of within double quotation hello and a semicolon is not required in python sir i think you know python lovers can understand this word okay sir these three statements i can say output statements right how you can able to print output on the screen so for every program it is mandatory sir there is one one uh, what you can say one feature is there for algorithm while taking the algorithm properties there is one point every algorithm must take zero or more number of inputs but compulsory at least one output it has to print so that means input is not required for some algorithms but output is mandatory so whatever job you are doing that you need to show that you need to project to the outside of the world that's why so output statements are very very important in every program starting from 001 to 315 okay so that's why i request everyone don't miss tomorrow's class tomorrow we are going to talk about input and output statements input and output statements in c c++ java and python in these languages sir what are the different types of input statements available and what are the different types of output statements available maybe this one requires one more topic which is nothing but data types so these two things we are going to cover in tomorrow's session because you must have the basic idea right you must have the basic idea then only entering into this particular programs will become very easy that's why tomorrow i am going to cover these two topics if time permits so tomorrow we are going to start our first program also okay so first program also we are going to start which is nothing but p001 okay then so we are going to give assignment to some programs you can practice by your own okay so i think it is very clear for you people so please confirm if everything is clear we will continue from tomorrow okay the duration of the course is 2 months sir 2 months the duration of the course is 2 months 2 months is more than sufficient maybe another 5 or 6 classes plus or minus will be there don't worry at all okay the timings of the session is from 8 pm to 9 pm and the fees is nothing but 2000 contact number is nothing but this one minimum 4 to 5 demo classes will be there okay if you want to get registered and if you want to confirm with this course you can contact admin team immediately and you can get registration so don't keep anything in mind just register blindly definitely you are going to enjoy this course especially for the students those who are studying now okay right and uh, i am going to change this programs also okay lbp 001002 like this we have right maybe sir here the programs not in order okay some previously asked interview questions all these things all the stuff i have included but now i am planning to segregate this data first 100 programs only based on numbers palindrome number or not armstrong number or not strong number or not conic number or not neon number or not navin number or not like this we have n number of numbers are there so digits extracting the digits okay adding one to the even digit subtracting minus from the odd digit reversing the digit okay armstrong number factorial prime number fibonacci sequence okay like n number of programs we are going to cover so all the number related programs on my hand now we have 110 programs are there but all these programs are there here also but not in an order but now i am i am planning to segregate but definitely i will do that for this batch so when compared with other batches this batch will have more flexibility a sequence related syllabus will be there is there any time to complete programs on hacker rank uh, ashish you are asking uh, the existing link or the programs which we are dumping 
we have the programs which you are interrupting yeah that that will we will cover every program sir you no, can track what is your doubt i'm not getting no we need to individually prepare the programs and submit over there right no 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 that you can do in the hacker rank link itself so that will give a final report to me suppose if you have registered for this hacker rank whatever programs you are doing i can see in the later mode position there itself you can see where you are suppose tomorrow i am going to upload the first program i will give link for you so once if you practice the first program your name will come here and along with the score that shows that you have completed the program whether the program is right or wrong forget about that definitely it will be right then only all the test cases will be passed but in which manner you have written so which manner i am going to explain sometimes may be same sometimes different will be there clear right and so we should use any ide for self practice or you can use hacker rank sumit the hacker rank link itself is sufficient sir so maybe don't feel that uh, sir on day we can complete one or two programs hacker rank programs will be completed like that don't worry it will take some time to you to practice definitely it will take some time okay so time is not sufficient for this for you to practice so only that hacker rank link you have to open and you need to practice from there itself if you want you can use ide also but uh, test cases whatever i have given may not be available in your mind right that's why better to use this hacker rank link itself dinesh admin contact number we have i am sharing in chat window also you can able to copy paste uh are we allowed to use python inbuilt functions for writing our code during coding round using companies by compiler any restrictions possible the dinesh it's a very good question you have asked see dinesh question is sir please have a look once so a good question he asked listen carefully everyone have a look once so are we allowed to use python's inbuilt functions for writing our code during the coding round okay using companies compilers any restrictions possible sometimes sometimes yes sometimes no sir if they are not giving any restrictions then we can use predefined functions suppose if they are giving any restrictions sir we can solve okay we can solve by our own logic our own logic sir i am highlighting here our own logic this logic if you want to get you need to join into this course <laughs> okay if you want i will show you just now we have covered one program right what is that program sir we have covered leap year program i have shown right so you can see here yeah leap year or not okay sir we have to read year from the user so how much if condition i have given how much lengthy code i have written so this is nothing but our logic what we have sir if you are given year is not a century year and if year is divisible by 4 then it is leap year or if it is a century year it must be divisible by 400 if any one of this condition is satisfied then my result is true otherwise my result is false sir if you understand this logic along with some examples then whether they are giving predefined functions or not you can write on your own hand so i implemented that logic in c language so that's why we have manually included this c in our course initially we don't have any c language here manually wantedly we created the reason behind that is if you learn c language coding without inbuilt functions how you can able to code you will get the clarity for that purpose only we have included this okay so in java also we can implement like this but in python sir have you seen here so how to use predefined function sometimes if the student is asking i am explaining without using predefined functions also in this areas you you have a chance to practice sir use the predefined function 
why can't we solve the python implementation like this yes you can do that okay i hope uh, your doubt got clarified and stuff right string builder concept we may not use we will use a string buffer sometimes a string builder but not in detail see here it is not a programming concept sir it is a completely logic building okay right friends hope you have enjoyed the session if you are having still any queries you can ask so remaining things we will continue tomorrow tomorrow don't miss the class exactly at 8 o'clock okay good evening in the last videos sir we discussed very clearly about uh, our first program which is nothing but lbp sorry uh, program number 001 which is nothing but welcome message sir how we can able to print welcome message on the screen that we discussed very clearly next second program even we have seen how you can able to perform addition of two integer values so how, how you can able to print that output we have seen very clearly in c language implementation in java and python sir now in today's session we are going to enter into sir a new program which is nothing but lbp number 003 sir i think we have already discussed about this program in the demo session itself what is that program sir next number listen carefully so implement a program that takes a number we have to implement a program which will take a number as input and increment the value by plus one and we have to print the result so if you want we can take one example if two is the input our expected output is three suppose if 4 is your input our expected output is 5 if minus 9 is your input minus 9 plus 1 which will become minus 2 sir what is the logic behind this program so we have to read n value from the user okay as integer so if it is a c language increment n value and then print Sir, if it is a Java, what we have to take n plus plus. Sir, unfortunately, in Python, we don't have any increment decrement operators. That's why what we have to take n plus is equal to 1. Like this, we have to take. After completion of this, we need to print the value of n. Okay. Sir, why increment operator is not there in C library? python it is a different story as of now not required so just we have to read the value and perform increment operation and then print the result so to perform this increment operation different different programming languages are having the different different operators anything you can use that's all a very simple logic sir okay of course already we discussed this program also from this program what point you are going to learn in python we don't have any support for increment and decrement operators that is the new point that you are going to get at very beginning of the session sir please confirm is this problem statement example what we have taken under the logic if these things are clear for you people i will go with the next level implementation please confirm any doubts friends up to this right sir so let us implement this program in c language let us implement this program in c language sir we have to open that url and you need to enter into that sir problem number 003 we have to solve it go to login then implement a program that takes a number as a input and increment the number by plus one and we have to print the result so input is nothing but an integer value so there is no constraint output is nothing but incremented value sir if you supply one we are going to get two as the output 
if you supply minus 1 means we are going to get a 0 as the output that's all so let us uh, take p language implementation sir what is the first step we have to read a number okay we have to read a number integer n i am taking so scan f percentage b comma am percent n we have to read the value of n and n plus plus i am incrementing the value of n so after this we need to print that incremented value that's all sir if initial value of n is equal to 5 5 plus 1 will be incremented that 6 is going to be printed on the output screen that's all nothing more than this now let us run the code and let us see how it is going to work sir you can able to see the two test cases are there sample test cases both are passed and submit the code sir you can able to see the remaining all the test cases also passed successfully this is nothing but what we have seen right so let's move to java implementation how we can able to do this program in java we will see now so how to implement in java the first step is a common we have to take a scanner obj is equal to new scanner of i am taking system dot in then integer n is equal to obj dot next int we have to take sir after this n plus plus whether you if you want you can use a pre increment also there is no problem let us run the code successfully the code executed and you can submit the code for a final approval sir have you observed here all the test cases got passed this is the way how you can able to implement the program in java okay sir now we have to go for which one python implementation so let us solve this program in python i told already we don't have any increment or decrement operators in python so what we have to do you have to implement manually n is equal to i am taking int of input then n plus is equal to 1 after that print the value of n so let us run the code yes all the test cases are satisfied this is the way how you can able to implement this program that is how you can able to print so next integer value how you can able to print next integer value on the output screen sir please confirm is this concept is clear for you people I request everyone to please confirm, sir. No, we don't have any class on tomorrow on the day after tomorrow directly the next class will be on monday so after payment you can able to join to that class okay right so let us go for the next program from now the complexity is going to be increased sir what is the program program number four divisible by three sir implement a program to read a number and check whether it is divisible by 3 or not suppose if it is divisible by 3 we have to print yes otherwise we have to print no okay 
then sir what is the example for this for example if 3 is the input is 3 is divisible by 3 or not yes is the answer sir if you supply 4 as a input is 4 is divisible by 3 no sir is 5 is divisible by 3 no is 6 is divisible by 3 yes like this we have to professor nothing more than this okay so we have to check whether it is divisible by 3 or not sir what is the logic behind this first we have to read n value from the user but unfortunately they are asking yes or no sir yes or no that means what we need to depend on one condition we need to depend on one condition sir as of now i am going to use one special operator called conditional operator conditional operator sir what is the conditional operator so if true what we have to execute okay else that means false means so what we have to execute so this will be decided and it is recommended if you are having only single space sir how you can able to use this conditional operator in c language first within bracket we have to take the condition if it is true then true block colon false block so first we have to take the condition if it is true this statement will execute otherwise it will execute not sir what about in java in java also same syntax is there sir what about the python in python we have different syntax is there sir what is that syntax is first we have to take true block if the condition is satisfied else false block of course the approach is the same but syntactically they made a change sir don't worry i will write that instruction here okay sir i am printing i am printing print off so we have to check whether n is divisible by 3 or not what condition we have to take sir n percentage 3 is equal to 0 is the condition sir if n is divisible by 3 if you divide with percentage 3 we are going to get remainder back for example sir here you can able to see sir i am dividing this number 3 with 3 sir what will happen sir 3 ones are 3 remainder is 0 right that's why we got output as yes sir if you take 4 and if you divide with 3 3 ones are 3 remainder what we got is 1 so which is not equal hence we are going to get no sir even if you take a 5 so 3 ones are 3 the result is nothing but 2 which is an, which is not divisible sir if you take 6 sir what output we will get 3 twos are 6 remainder is 0 yes it is divisible like this we have to get for that i am dividing the number n with percentage 3 if remainder is equal to 0 then question mark what we have to print here yes y capital otherwise colon what we have to print here no okay sir if it is java in java also n percentage 3 we have to take if it is equal to 0 then we are taking yes otherwise we are going to take no sir if it is python we have to print yes when so if n percentage 3 is equal to 0 else we have to print no that's all sir if uh, first it will print yes when if this condition is satisfied otherwise it won't print else sir it won't print yes it will print no sir there is a there is a common approach only but only syntactical change you can able to expect other than that nothing is there so this is the way how you can able to implement this program and what is the logic behind this program sir please confirm is the problem statement and the logic are clear for you people i will go with implementing this program sir please confirm do you have any doubts up to this friends Right. 
sir i request everyone to please respond clear so let us go for c language implementation of this program how we can able to solve this program in c language yes you can able to see three means yes is the answer four means no five means no sir let us take c language sir how to take input here integer n and tick sir read that number scan as percentage b comma am present n sir i accepted the number next what we have to do sir i need to take a print statement so print f first check whether n is divisible by 3 if yes i want to print the message called yes otherwise i want to print the message called no so n percentage 3 is equal to 0 means we have to print yes otherwise we have to print no this is nothing but what we have sir let us run this code whether it is going to work or not we will cross check sir don't don't uh, take small yes by yes or small no like that you have to take a capital letter sign okay capital y capital n and let us submit the code sir you can see all the test cases are working so if every test case is working then happily we can implement the program in other programming languages also so there is no problem with respect to inputs right there is no problem with respect to inputs and outputs now let us implement the same program in javascript i am taking the same program and let us go for implementing in java so i am taking java implementation let us see how you can able to implement in java code sir i am taking the problem statement let us take java yes here sir scanner obj is equal to i am taking new scanner of system dot in will be there then so integer n is equal to obj dot i am taking next int sir what we have to do system dot out dot print ln of n percentage 3 is equal to 0 means <coughs> we have to print yes otherwise no just a minute So let us run the code is it working yes you can able to see all the three test cases are working and submit the code for final approval so this is nothing but how you can able to implement in java let's go for python implementation let us see how you can able to solve this program in python let us see how you can able to solve this program in python sir i am taking n is equal to int of input then sir i want to print yes sir, when if n percentage 3 is equal to 0 otherwise i want to print no sir i want to print yes when if n percentage 3 is equal to 0 otherwise i want to print no this is nothing but what we have let us run the code will it works or not yes perfectly all the three test cases are satisfied and submit the code for final approval you can able to see all the remaining test cases also executed this is the way how you can able to implement in python i think this fourth problem sir what is the problem statement how you can able to implement this problem in all these languages i hope you got clarity friends right please confirm do you have any doubts up to this right sir sir let us move to the next one next one what is the next program number of hours number of hours sir it is also easy program simple mathematical formula we have to write implement a program implement a program to read uh, seconds value in the timer okay sir i have 3600 seconds are there 
sir i want to convert it into hours 3600 hours means we will get one hour sir if i have 4500 hours also we have one hour okay so for two hours how many seconds will be there for two hours how many seconds will be there let us open our calci okay for two hours for two hours 60 60 minutes will be there 120 minutes so for every minute 60 seconds will be there 7200 seconds is equal to sir 2 hours 7200 seconds is equal to 2 hours they are going to supply seconds value as a input we have to construct a uh, number of hours sir what is the logic for this first we have to read seconds value we have to read seconds value as a sir sec okay and we have to print can you please write the formula suppose if i have seconds sir how you can able to get that hours value sir can you please write the formula and share it on chat window because i am weak in mathematics i need to know from your side yes please confirm hmm, yes so sorry to interrupt you so 45 100 that is one one hour 30 minutes yeah yeah so, just we are asking only hours value so okay. even if it is one hour 50 minutes or one hour 59 minutes also it will be counted as one no one hour okay yes okay. just for convenient purpose yeah very good so everyone is telling the correct answer right so divided by 3600 yeah some people are giving wrong answers please have a look once sir we have to print the seconds divided by 60 means so 60 seconds is equal to 1 minute so 60 into 60 that means what 3600 seconds so will become 1 hour okay so that's why seconds by 3600 if you take it will return hours value sir nothing more than this but here you need to observe one small point okay what is that point is sir in c language the division operator suppose if you take integer divided by integer it will return integer sir in java also if you take integer divided by integer it will return integer but in python sir if you take integer divided by integer we will get the result in the form of floating point sir i want to get integer result then they have provided one special fiction which is nothing but a double slash double slash i think it is also a new concept for you people so in java and c language you can take seconds by 3600 but in python we have to take seconds double slash 3600 sir if you take single slash what will happen i will show you in the program sir please confirm the example for this problem statement and the logic of this problem if it is clear for you people i will go with implementing this program sir please confirm everyone is the concept is clear right friends excellent now let us take c language implementation of this program how you can able to provide a solution for c language let us take c language code for this what is the problem number 3005 yes we have various input for there now let us take integer seconds value i am taking sir scan f percentage d comma i am taking ampersand seconds okay percentage d we have to take yes now i think directly it is a formula right directly we can print what is the result seconds divided by 3600 is our result let us run the code will it works or not yes all the three test cases are satisfied and submit the code for final approval also sir you can see every test case is successfully giving green signal that means our code is correct sir same thing i want to implement in java i want to implement in java let us go with the java implementation how you can able to solve
same right scanner obj is equal to antics new scanner of system dot in antics so integer seconds is equal to obj dot next int i am reading an integer value and system dot out dot print ln of seconds divided by 3600 antics that's all automatically it will convert that seconds into hours let us cross check is it working yes every test case executed successfully no issues at all sir can i implement this code in python yes happily we can do in python implementation also no problem at all let us see how we can able to do this sir i am taking seconds is equal to int of int sir don't take seconds divided by 3600 sir what happens first we will run sir every test case is failing because have you have you observed the message your output is 1.0 but my expected output is 1 is it matched no that's why it is giving into mark sir even in all test cases also same have you observed here expected output is 15 here you are getting 15 point something someone asked sir if you take 5600 5000 sorry 56000 seconds it will be equal to 15 hours 55 minutes okay but your output is always expecting 15 why because this round of thing i am not going to consider for this example that's why we are getting this okay so like what we have to take now double slash double slash will always return integer value perfectly all the test cases are working and let us submit the code right this is nothing but how we can able to implement this particular hours converting program like they have given the seconds sorry they have given the seconds we have to convert that seconds into hours what is the formula per second 6 sorry per hour 60 minutes will be there per minute again 60 seconds will be there just we have to divide with 60 into 60 160 is for minutes 160 is for seconds okay so hope the concept is very clear for you people please confirm do you have any doubt in this implementation program sir please confirm everyone is it clear friends yes requesting everyone to please respond right sir so let us go with next problem what we have here is lbp number 0064 number of months so implement a program to read the number of days and convert it into number of months we have to read number of days and we have to convert it into number of months so first we have to read the days then we have to convert it into months nothing more than this okay so let us see how we can able to do this okay let us see how we can able to do this sir example so they have given one conclusion also consider 30 days per month okay suppose if you take 30 days i am going to get one as output suppose if i am taking 60 days i am getting two as output suppose 100 days in the 100 days how many months we are going to get three months just like our previous program sir what is the logic first we have to read the days value first we have to read the days value then you need to write one formula to get number of months can you please confirm sir what we have to take here yes can you please confirm what we have to take here what formula we have to take once if you know the days then what formula we have to take can you please confirm 
very good very good sir we have to take days to by 30 so which will uh, become the number of months so we have to take days by 30 which will return the number of months very simple logic sir let us go with c language sir how to solve this program in c language problem number is 006 don't expect every problem will be like this no these are the basic fundas from monday you can able to see more complex programs so in teacher i am going to take days map sir scan f percentage b comma ampersand days then print f sir percentage b comma that days divided by 30 that's all right simple logic let us run the code yes all the test cases are satisfied and submit the code you can able to see the remaining test cases also clear now let's move to java implementation let us see how you can able to solve this program in java sir how to solve this program in java sir i am taking scanner obj is equal to so new scanner of system dot in okay then integer the number of days is equal to obj dot next int i am taking then system dot out dot print ln of days divided by 30 i am taking now let us run the code will it works yes perfect and let us submit the code you can able to see all the test cases are working properly so this is the way how you can able to implement in java sir what about python what about python let us go for python implementation let us take python implementation now listen carefully sir i am taking days is equal to int of int then can you please confirm well, we have to take a single slash or double slash if you please confirm from your side we have to take single slash or double slash please confirm ah, make sure we have to take double slash sir i think the people who are coming from non python background i think they are they are learning something new in the python right yes very good yes all the test cases are satisfied and if you run the program also sir it is in queue okay no problem yes all the test cases got satisfied this is the way how you can able to implement this code in python please confirm do you have any doubts friends of Tuli? right sir so the next one what we have here is uh, uh, yeah today's session last program three numbers addition don't feel that sir you have to read three numbers and perform the addition operation no okay sir write a program to accept three space separated integers uh, and uh, print addition of those three digits for example if uh, 1 followed by space 2 followed by 3 followed by space followed by 3 if you are giving 1 plus 2 plus 3 which is nothing but 6 if i am giving 1 followed by space 1 followed by space result is 3 sir it is a simple simple only right yes of course sir we have to read three numbers as a comma b and c and we have to print a plus b plus c sir easy code only but uh, how you are going to read in c language how we are going to read in java how we are going to read in python is very very important task in today's session okay sir how to read in c language scan f percentage b percentage b percentage b followed by space if you take 
it will be accepted as a integers no problem at all normal scanner but in java sir a is equal to obj dot next int then b is equal to obj dot next int sir c is equal to obj dot next int like this you can read and you can perform no problem but what about python but what about python sir in python space separated values if you want to read then we don't have any direct memory so if you take uh, a is equal to int of input already i told input function is going to read the complete line whatever you have given so it is uh, trying to convert it into number sir is it possible to convert it into number because uh, some space is there not possible in such cases what we have to do that is the concept here we are getting sir today in my python class i told one concept i will introduce that concept for you people just have a look on even if you are unable to understand no issues yeah somewhere i covered packing and unpacking of tuple objects in python we have this concept sir construction of a tuple from different objects is called as a packing sir destruction of a tuple to different objects is called as unpacking sir if uh, inputs are triple one triple two triple three we can construct a tuple like t is equal to a comma b comma c suppose if i have already tuple is there sir you can able to destroy by using like this sir how many values are there here four values that's why four variables is equal to that input sir same way here also how you can able to write you are taking three variables a comma b comma c is equal to what we have to take within square within brackets so int of i for each i value in input dot split try to remember this terminologies sir what is this input dot split what is this input dot split input dot split is going to take the input that is 123 and it will split based on space that means one will become one integer okay so two will become another integer another string so three will become another string like this it is going to convert okay this is nothing but what we have and we are converting into integer so again this tuple will be there with 1 comma 2 comma 3 as integer and we are assigning to three variables so a comma b comma c is equal to so 1 comma 2 comma 3 means that one will be assigned to a that two will be assigned to b and that three will be assigned to c that's all now you can able to print a plus b plus c sir so directly why can't you read sir because in a single line whatever you are giving python is going to read that a single line as it is that is the problem what we are facing so now we have two techniques are there if uh, new line spaces line by line if input is giving happily we can able to read if uh, space separated values if they are giving then what mechanism we have to use the concept whatever i have told now we need to apply this concept okay sir please confirm is this concept is clear for you people forget about implementation anyway i will do that for you people so is the concept is clear for you people friends please confirm everyone please everyone don't worry again at the time of implementation one more time i will repeat but as of now just a doubt line is it clear for you people right so don't worry i will explain this again before moving to the implementation okay abc is called as a tuple no not abc is a tuple this one is called as a tuple so abc a comma b comma c are individual objects from the tuple we are splitting the data this concept is called as tuple unpacking suppose if you take abc here and tuple if you take here then it is called as a tuple packing okay right so that's all about today's session sir
anyway the implementation of this program and along with this concept discussion we will discuss in our upcoming class that is nothing but monday okay yeah good evening sir in the last videos we covered very clearly about uh, the basics of uh, this logic based programming and if any person is new for this course sir today is my first class or i want to refer the previous class okay sir your previous class playlist playlist is available so just you can able to watch this uh, i am sharing in chat window okay you can able to refer all the three demos are available there okay and uh, tomorrow is the last demo so from friday onwards you have to get registered if you want to attend these classes right so already we have discussed everything right the course is logic based programming the duration of the course is 2 months so every day one hour we are going to spend and the timing is from 8 to 9 and the fees for this batch is 2000 this is the contact number if you want to get registered for this course and the previous class demo is there and what are the benefits of this course and what is the prerequisite for this course and the total how many programs we are going to cover so i have given very clear clarity on the demo sessions so next and after that sir we have seen the fundamentals like what are the data types uh, in different uh, programming languages and uh, sir uh, like we have integers real values characters boolean in c language so what are the different types of data types available in java and what about the different data types which are available in python also we discussed okay and we have seen some sample programs also right like logic based programming 300 how you can able to solve and the logic based programming 5 how you can able to solve and even we have seen input and output statements also in c language what things are there okay so in java how you can able to read and write inputs and outputs and even we are going to discuss about in python sir in python how you can able to read input sir we have only one output statement is there which is nothing but a print which is nothing but a print but we have almost 10 forms of print statements 10 forms of a print statements is available sir i think we covered one print statement in the last video do you remember so which is nothing but c language style format and followed by we have to take list of variables so this thing already we covered sir like this we have 10 forms are there so everything on demand i will explain once if any situation came then i will explain all that sir okay this is nothing but what we have sir next sir okay it is clear what about input statement how you can able to accept input sir there is one special function is there with name input so it accepts okay it accepts so input from the user it accepts input from the user okay sir i want to read the string data and this input is always in which form string form the data whatever you are giving it will be always in which format string format so we don't have any other formats sir i want to perform addition of two numbers in such cases we have to read the data in the form of integer right it is not going to provide any support for string right compulsory we have to convert it into integer sir if i want to convert it into integer what we have to do sir we have type casting functions are there like int of input okay sir it is used to read it is used to read an integer value an integer value from the user so like this we have so many functions are there depending on the situation i will explain okay so in python when compared with other languages in python it is very easy sir so simple we have to read an input from the user so as a string format means simply you can use input if i want to read input in the form of a string 
and if I want to convert it into integer then int of input we have to use suppose if you want to convert it into floating point then float of input we have to use like depending on the situation we have to bus so let us take one simple program sir I want to read the so two integer values two integer values and perform addition operation and perform addition operation this is nothing but my requirement so how you can able to do this sir very simple in python i am writing the code a is equal to int of input we have to take sir a is equal to int of input means what we are reading one input value from the user okay first the data is accepted in the form of a string later i am converting it to integer then b is equal to int of input sir i am reading the value of b and i am converting into integer now i am going to perform a plus b immediately what will happen it is going to perform addition of two numbers okay it is going to perform addition of two numbers this is nothing but how you can able to write a simple program in python how you can able to write a simple program in python sir i think you got clarity how to read and how to write input from the user okay in python please confirm do you have any doubt in this python implementation <coughs> yes requesting everyone to please respond do you have any doubts up to this sir right sir now we are going to start our actual coding okay now we are going to start our actual coding few people may have a doubt sir are you going to cover only basic programs no it is level by level will be there you can able to see some programs are easy some programs are moderate programs some programs are difficult it is a mixture of all the things sir okay so that's why at very beginning you may expect the silly problems but don't feel that try to learn everything so i mean every program is going to give one kind of input for you people so it is very very important okay i told already several times but again and again i am repeating now let us start doing coding from day one sir sir today already whatever stuff is required for our course i have provided now i am going to start the programming okay now i am going to start the programming sir as of now the temporary link what we have here is http colon double slash www dot hacker rank dot com slash lbp test so lbp test okay <laughs> this is nothing but demo link sir so demo link just to practice the programs and you are going to receive the original link also so those who have registered already you people are going to get the original disk sir i mean original uh, what you can say permanent link sir you can able to see our running notes will be shared in this format okay our running notes will be shared in this format one minute yeah you can able to see so we are going to share this uh, lbp 10 running notes actually it is but uh, we are going to get lbp 11 running notes there you can see one separate file will be there with name so lbp 11 hacker rank link so tomorrow you are going to receive tomorrow morning okay so just to open this link just to open this link there we will have the programs so starting from sir uh, program 0012 sir program 0010 sir 010 like this i uploaded already 10 programs that link will be enabled from tomorrow okay you can start practicing this but anyway in this uh, all these programs are available in our sample test class also like https colon double slash so www dot so hacker rank dot com slash 
so we have to take lbp test logic based programming test in that so we have demo programs are there okay so same programs only from p001 to p10 only but these are for practice purpose so once if the demo is completed you can't expect the remaining programs in this demo link there we have to use this permanent link okay that's all now sir coming to this lbp demo first program i am taking p001 i am opening this solve challenge sir what is this program here of course it is the basic program only already the program title is given here you can able to cross check sir what is the program welcome message is the title of my program sir implement a program to read the user name from the user and display welcome message so we have to write a program to read user name from the user and display welcome message sir first i will take example suppose if i am giving input as a prakash okay sir what output they are expecting they are expecting welcome followed by space followed by prakash sir you can able to see the out output format they have given here so welcome followed by space followed by the username whatever you have given sir one more twist is there here suppose if input is mahesh babu what they are expecting welcome mahesh babu like this they are expecting yes my logic is clear sir sir how you can able to implement this program how you can able to implement this program sir how to implement so first we have to read a string first we have to read a string as a name from the user okay as a name from the user maybe because it is your uh, demo session right that's why very first program you need to learn how to read input from the user so for that in c language i am going to use one function called scanf so because scanf is the function which is used to read input from the user sir i am reading name right so name is what type of data string so hence you have to use percentage yes so remember if you want to read any collection of characters like group of characters like a string then we have to use percent sorry percentage yes sir where you are going to store it is in name forget about the declaration of name i will explain later sir what about java what about java sir in java you can use obj dot next is there okay or sir we have obj dot next line is also there two methods we have and what about in python in python we have only one method is there which is nothing but inputs sir in c language how to read i know in java two methods are there obj dot next obj dot next line sir what is the purpose of obj so it is going to stop reading data once if a space if a space is encountered sir once if a space is encountered it will stop reading the data what about next line it will stop reading data once if a new line character is a new line is encountered sir which one we have to use because so if you take this obj dot next it will work first case but it won't work second case because in the second case you are giving mahesh followed by babu but my program will accept only mahesh so your output will become welcome mahesh but expected output is welcome to welcome mahesh babu that's why it is never recommended to use this so it is it is not applicable yes we have to take this one okay this is nothing but we have to consider in the same way sir do you have any flexibility in python no so in python so you can use input it will stop reading the data whenever a new line character is found but in c language also we have this issue sir so c language is also is going to stop reading the data once if the space is encountered sir what is the alternative for this sir we have same scanf is there so same percentage yes is there same name you have to take but 
sir in this place in this gap is there right here within square brackets you have to take a cap of a slash m that means except name except new line character if anything is came please accept so whenever new line character is came then you have to stop the data sir now you have to use three functions in c language recommended to use this scanf to read the string in java recommended to use this this particular obj dot next line to read the string in python just to we can use input sir what about output statement output we don't have any issue in c language simply you can able to print what is their expected answer welcome followed by username so welcome in the place of username i am taking percentage yes sir comma that name i want to print sir what about in java in java system dot out dot print ln of just welcome you have to take but we don't have any comma here we have to use plus name sir what about in python so in python just print of welcome comma name directly we can take see different different approaches sir here you have given space that's why sir this condition is going to be satisfied in java you have given space this plus operator is going to concat whatever name you have given okay but in python sir where is the space where is the space by default print function is going to give the space when you are giving a group of objects this is the first element this is the second element while printing it will automatically insert the space between these two sir so much of content i have putting on your brain but don't worry once if you go with exercises you will get clarity if any small small doubts are there please ignore that okay so try to understand how you can able to work with this once if you go to one or two examples you people will get full fledged clarity sir please confirm is this example i mean whatever problem statement we have and this example related to this problem and the logic whatever i have given if these things are clear for you people i will start implementing this program in c language please confirm friends is the concept is clear i request every student to please respond very good sir slowly i will explain this program how you can able to implement sir what is the first programming language that we have to use c right so i will go with uh, c language implementation sir how to solve this program in c i already told we have to open this particular link because in this link only the complete content will be there sir as of now there is no submission for this so problem statement is there implement a program to read username and display welcome message on the console so input is we have to read username there is no constraint print message in the following form we have to display welcome message followed by space and then name suppose if admin is the sample input 0 the expected output is welcome admin sir if prakash is the input 1 welcome prakash is the output sir if prakash babu is input welcome prakash babu is the output so first i will try to implement in c we have to select the programming language all the required files will be imported automatically just we have to start coding only in main sir i want to read a character right a string so in java and python we have string support is there but in c language we don't have any string concept that's why so i am taking character name if you take like this it will take only one character so i am taking name of 100 maximum it will read 100 characters okay beyond that i think we are not going to move next what is the next step we have to read that name value from the user percentage yes comma name i am taking okay sir here in comments i am writing so we should not write we should not write ampersand symbol for reading strings keep it in mind so if it is a number we have to use ampersand 
If it is a string, we should not use. Sir, I accepted the name. Can you please print in the given format welcome percentage yes comma name? That's all right. Sir, first I declared that name. I accepted that name. They want in this format. I printed. Matter completed. Just we have to run the code. Sir, in this you can able to see my first test case got a success. Second test case also success. But what about the third test case? Sir, welcome Prakash is uh, sorry Prakash Babu is the input. But I am getting welcome Prakash. Where is that Babu? It is not accepted because I told already, sir, it is never recommended to use in this uh, format because it will stop reading the data once its space is encountered. Then what we have to take, sir? In between this percentage and yes, within square bracket, try to take a cap of a slash n. That means until getting new line character, remaining things skip and accept. Now if you run, that second test case is going to satisfy. Perfect. Then what we have to do? Submit the code. It will ask, are you sure you want to confirm? Yes, every time don't ask this message. Yes, submit my code. Now you can able to see all the test cases are in evaluated. This is nothing but the solution what we got in C language implementation. For the first program, okay, in the first programming language, we have given the solutions. I think, of course, it is the basic easy program. I think from this, uh, you people have learned something. Okay, sir, if you are new to the programming, then you have learned something. If you are an already existing programmer, at least you got some idea how you can able to think for the logics. Okay, sir, please confirm. Is this a C language implementation is clear for you people? Right.